Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Borg Warner, ETOS, and by Gentex. Alan, tell me what uh, Caterpillar is doing here, and what, what's this uh, remote kind of driving of vehicles? Well, welcome to CES 2025. Uh, today at Caterpillar, what you're looking at is our one of our Cat Command offerings. Our Cat Command offerings are our semi-autonomous, fully autonomous, and our remote control offerings. Today, you're seeing our remote control offerings as non-line of sight. So basically, what they're doing is they're running a live machine. Right now, this is a D5. There's a the D5 right there uh, with our sight camera, and the operators are running real time remote control. Here, let me show the viewers right over here. So what, what's the, they're pretty busy in there right now, but oh, yeah. what, what's the advantage of doing this uh, remotely? So remote control, obviously, there's a safety aspect, right? And certain applications where there's a hazardous environments, it's better to get the operator off the machine, right? But just as important, though, with the safety is the uh, flexibility of the operator. We've got a lot of customers that have adopted this, so you can imagine putting this operating station closer to a larger population center. I don't have to go out to the middle of, let's say, West Texas or the middle of the desert in Arizona to do work. I can remote in, still do the work productively, almost as an office employee, right? An office um, employee, not exposed to the environment, nice, comfortable, seated position. So it's, it's a different way of working, right? I can hot swap operators as well, so that means that uh, and the machine is not um, sitting, right? Uh, literally, the person gets out of the seat, a new person comes in, keeps it moving. And take advantage of time zones, right? I could have a station in a different time zone, right? So a lot of those type of efficiencies really um, make a difference, right? Well, let's say if you, you had an injury. So if you had a restriction, you couldn't climb up on, on a one of these machines, right? Which is a requirement to run the heavy equipment. There's no restrictions. Right, I, I like now you can literally. You could do it in a wheelchair, almost, or pull up to the site in a wheelchair. Walk right? into the wheel. Yep, come pull up to a wheelchair and just transfer yourself and do the work. So is this actually being used right now? Yes, used around the world, right? So um, we came up with this well over ten years ago in mining, and so a lot of our mining customers have adopted this worldwide. And uh, about 2017, we brought it down to our construction size machines, and ever since then, we've expanded the product line. So not only will this station run a dozer, it will run a D1 dozer all the way up to a D8 dozer. The D9, 10, 11 dozers have a similar station, but it's uh, more dedicated controls, right? This can also switch to excavators. So we can run a 315 excavator, so 15 ton, all the way up to 395, 95 ton excavator. And Yes, it can run those excavators, uh, the large machines, but it can also run small machines like our compact track loaders, skid steers, right? Our D3 uh, models of, of skid steers are compatible with this as well. So you can switch to a skid steer in one region of the world or, or uh, work site to uh, a dozer in a different location, right? So the point is you're increasing the operator's utilization, which really makes a benefit, uh, makes a huge benefit to customers because you know, regardless, you're, you're paying those operators, so if you increase their utilization, you can get every, every ounce of uh, efficiency out of them. We're good, Alan, thanks so much. Very interesting Thank what Caterpillar's doing here. Yeah. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the show.